Celebrating spring break is a rite of passage for many college students in Texas, but too often a fun getaway with friends ends in tragedy when someone drives under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Here with a note of caution is TxDOT's Jennifer Wright. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Mark. So happy to be here. So every drunk driving crash and death is 100% preventable. We are trying to urge people to drive sober and have no regrets. So during this spring break time, urging people to find a sober ride using many of the options available to reduce the incidence of these DUI-related crashes and death, and especially, as we said, because spring break is starting. And we understand DUI alcohol-related crashes, Jennifer, do cause life-altering, disabling, and permanent injuries for a lot of survivors. Absolutely, Mark. They can hurt or kill somebody, causing devastating injuries, which ruin families forever. The legal hassles can cost you up to $17,000 in fines and fees, and they make it very hard for you to get or keep a job. So one of these uh, DUI crashes or tickets can actually cause you a lifetime of regret. So how extensive are DUI alcohol-related traffic crashes in Texas? Well, here in Texas, one reportable DUI-related crash occurs every 21 minutes. And then one person dies every eight hours, 31 minutes in a DUI alcohol-related traffic crash. One person is seriously injured every three hours and 28 minutes. And this is statewide, but we should look at statewide numbers because kids are celebrating spring break all over the state. How does that translate into numbers, Jennifer? Well, in 2021, there were over 25,000 DUI alcohol-related traffic crashes in Texas causing 1,209 fatalities and over 2,500 serious injuries, all because somebody chose to get behind the wheel under the influence. In 2021, about 23% of the total fatalities in Texas were DUI alcohol-related, and that's a 4.6 increase from 2020. So how big of a problem is drinking and driving during spring break? Well, last year's spring break, Texas saw 482 DUI alcohol-related crashes involving drivers ages 17 to 30. And those were, that caused 21 fatalities and 70 serious injuries. Now, 15 of those 21 fatalities were ages 17 to 30. That's about 71% of those fatalities. So what is TxDOT's message to drivers to help prevent these senseless crashes and deaths? I'm going to say it again. DUI crashes are 100% preventable. People can designate a sober driver. They can call a taxi or use a ride share. They can stay put, phone a friend or family member, or use mass transit to ensure that they are not driving impaired. We want everyone to drive sober, no regrets. All right, Jennifer, let's talk about next week's closures. So on Sunday and Monday night, Trans Mountain Road, everyone's favorite road overnight, will be closed in both directions. And that'll be nightly from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. And what they're doing is relocating the barrier so that the, when the closure lifts, there, the westbound lane will be down to one lane and it'll stay in that condition for several weeks. Loop 375 has three closures on it. The long one is Sunday through Thursday nights, every night, uh, nightly starting at nine. Loop 375 northbound will be completely closed at the Saragossa Road exit ramp, and crews will be placing a permanent traffic bar barrier and doing a reconfiguration that week. Then Monday and Tuesday overnight, the Saragossa Road bridge underpass will be completely closed. Whereas on Wednesday and Thursday nights, it's going to be the America's Bridge underpass completely closed. And what they're doing there is prepping the bridges for demolition. So traffic will just have to detour to the next, next intersection. Jennifer Wright with TxDOT, thanks so much. We'll talk with you again next week. Thank you so much, Mark.